One, two, three, four. Hello, everyone. My name is Zulu, and this is Zulu FYI. There's nothing quite like custom art, particularly when an artist designs and creates something specifically for you. The creation of an original piece that an artist has put his skills to the ultimate test to create a one-of-a-kind masterpiece is quite satisfying to the collector as well as the creator. This is often seen in painting, sculpting, and other traditional art forms. But we caught up with one master artist whose studio is likened to da Vinci's inventions more than his paintings. Troy Ladd is the founder, owner, and chief designer of Hollywood Hot Rods in Burbank, California. He's known for designing and building traditional hot rods with his own unique signature stylings. Building award-winning custom vehicles for over a decade, Troy has been recognized as a Good Guys Rod and Custom SEMA Trendsetter Award recipient, Grand National Roadshow Builder of the Year, and LA Roasters Builder of the Year, to name just a few of his many awards earned only by the industry's elite designers and builders. His cars have also earned the distinguished honor of being displayed at the world-famous Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles, California. His cars have graced the covers of magazines such as Hot Rod, Street Rodder, and Rod and Custom, just to name a few. And I was fortunate enough to have him design and build my 1927 Ford Model T. I was recently in Burbank and had the opportunity to stop by Hollywood Hot Rods to chat with the maestro of metal and motors himself, Troy Ladd. Hi, my name is Troy Ladd. I'm the owner of Hollywood Hot Rods in Burbank, California. We build traditional styled uh, hot rods and customs. Younger, you know, when I was younger, uh, I Again, first started just out of necessity and then really got interested in you know, modifying the car for speed and a little street racing in my high school years and it just turned into this this hobby that I could never let go and even when I went to uh, you know worked I worked corporate and worked you know for the man so to speak and it was always my obsession on the side is just make enough money, just work enough hours to go and work on the cars and play with the cars. So eventually, um, I decided to quit the day job and literally risk it all and do this for my career and I haven't looked back. Well, my interest in cars really just started out of necessity. Uh, when I was 16 years old, I was given a 65 Mustang from my um, grandfather, and we were poor. So when something goes wrong and you don't know how, you know, it, when the car breaks down, you have to learn how to fix it. So that's was my first, um, you know, uh, interest in cars was literally just trying to fix a car to go to school, um, and then from there you just get the sickness, you get the passion, um, and it turns into an obsession and an art and just wanting to build and design and modify cars was just kind of consumed my life. The essence of what I do, what we do here at Hollywood Hot Rods is it's really uh, an art form. I mean, it's not, we don't fix cars. I mean, we, we design and we, we create and we can literally shape a car from nothing. So it really has evolved into this very creative outlet with basically autom you know, autos being the, the canvas. And it's very similar to you know, tattooing in the fact that we have a very specific style of art. So you would come to us because you like our style, just like you would go to someone like Zulu for his particular art, and not everyone can do it uh, in that way. And I, nobody, not everyone can do what we do. So it's really a very specific art form that you just evolve and people come to us because of what we do and how we do it, just like in the tattoo world. What is a Hollywood Hot Rods car? Well, I would say that I have a very traditional aesthetic and a vintage style. Um, we don't build period correct cars or period perfect cars, which would just be a cookie cutter of something that's been over and over from the 1950s, but we take those type of design 
aesthetics and a European, I like the European design element. We roll those into an overall package that creates a new type of, of, of art, a new type of car design, um, which again, it harkens back to, to the days of European um, um, you know, sports car racing and board track racing and different forms of motorsports. We take some of those design elements roll them up into you know a new design and a modern package and it's kind of what we do uh, and most importantly we try to build things that are classy and elegant we don't like kitschy crazy wacky types of you know you know super flames and billet and purple and it's always a, a classy design element um, a perfect example of this would be uh, the car we did for Zulu this car from the outside just looks like a, you know, kind of semi-normal um, a Model T. But in actuality, every piece of that car has been redesigned, moved, changed, restructured to give it an aesthetically pleasing look and something that was specific to what I believe is beautiful and what Zulu believes was be beautiful. So the two of us together as artists can combine our thoughts and create something that he loves. And that's the essence of what we do. Here's an example of a 32 Roadster that we did not too long ago, and we call it the Brooklyn Special. And there's a million 32 Roadsters that people build. I mean, it's a pretty common hot rod, one of the, the quintessential hot rods that people build. So to try to make something artistic and different is a challenge. So this particular car is based on the race cars of Brooklyn's Raceway in Surrey, England. Therefore, it's right-hand drive. Uh, the headlights are Bugatti, the taillights are Bugatti. A lot of the design elements are based on European sports car design. Even the entire body has been sectioned and the metal moved. All of the shapes been changed to really meet this European sports car aesthetic while still being an American hot rod. So this is just an example of kind of how we take something that's average, like a 32 Roadster, and really try to put a very artistic and elegant um, art you know, spin on the design. And this is, what, this is what I love to do. As what we do evolves, as the art and the creativity evolves, we kind of even start to shift from just modifying existing cars. And the logical evolution is to increase, increase that level until we come to a point where we just make something from scratch, which is the example of the Mulholland Speedster. This is a car we're currently working on. And it's there. Uh, basically, we started from design drawings. I work with a designer named Eric Black of E Black Design. He's a good friend of mine, and together, we created the drawings for this car. And from drawings, we're literally building a car from nothing. And it's it's a uh, called Coach Building. So, it's. 80% to 90% coach built and we still use a few pieces here and there from an original car which kind of gives it soul because you really want to grab onto that you know the heritage of something real so it's got 10% original collectible pieces and 90% literally handcrafted fabricated bent steel to create what you're seeing here which we call the Mulholland and Speedster and I hope everyone likes it because we we really love it. So our motto at Hollywood Hot Rods is respect tradition. That's the tagline that we use. And, and what that means is uh, we, want, we respect and we are attracted to traditional things and traditional aesthetic. And we really try to pull in vintage you know, mindset into our art, yet we're not bound by it, which means I can still have room for creative outlet and creative thought processes. So even though we're using traditional ideals, we still are forging new ground. So, um, you know, you could, one could even say we respect, we're respecting tradition, but challenging the future. If you'd like to contact Troy Ladd and Hollywood Hot Rods, check out his links in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Zulu FYI. Most of our questions come from our subscribers and viewers. So, if you have a topic you'd like to see discussed on Zulu FYI, email me at FYI at ZuluTattoo.com. You can also visit my tattoo website, Zulu Tattoo, at www.zulutattoo.com. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate your comments and your subscription. And until next time, 
Be well.